Some of the changes the dam has brought to the Aral Sea are profound. For instance, dried up wells are now being replenished as the sea creeps back towards Kara Taren. We are okay now, here in the village. Life is getting much better. We don't have enough water to breed cattle yet. The sea is still too far away for that. Around the Aral Sea, there used to be four or five factories. I used to work in one of them. Previously, the villages around this region were able to supply 40 or 50,000 tonnes of fish a year. It's the fishermen who have been hurt most by the lost sea. When Earth Report was last here, we visited the once busy fishing port of Bugun. The village of Bugun in northern Kazakhstan. This was once the Aral seabed. The sea provided jobs for 60,000 people in the region. This 70 year old fished all his life and ended up running the fish processing plant. My son would have been a fisherman. I would have taught my son to be a fisherman. If there was water again here, I would ask my son to follow in my footsteps. He has a boat, a net, we were okay, but the sea has vanished. <laughs> But 12 years later, in the nearby village of Karateren, there are smiles all round. The waters and fish have returned. Every time we go fishing, I catch about 200 fish. I can sell each kilogram of them for 15 tenj, about 12 cents. My family lives off fishing. Being next to the water gives me the opportunity to fish and live off the fishing. About a fifth of the 15 plus million people who live in Kazakhstan work on the land or as fishermen. Growth in the country, aided by the development of oil reserves, is in double figures, while unemployment is in single figures and dropping. <laughs> 